What's up guys, Jay Little here, opening up some Cards Against Humanity. It's not Pack Crackers, even though it kind of looks like it might be, right? But it's not, first of all. Uh, second of all, uh, this is Cards Against Humanity. Uh, it's a fun, very adult game, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of like app. What is it? Apples to apples? Just you know, adult and mean and terrible and and you, horrible and you should not play it, but you should. But anyway, I got. Uh, I've been a fan of Cards Against Humanity for a while. Uh, I have a bunch already, and I I think I needed like 700 plus more. I think that's what it was. These are just all the expansions I don't have. This is gonna be something new for my. Uh, a website I'm gonna do like geeky unboxing boxings or boxers geeky unboxings easy for me to say uh, of just you know random stuff like say 700 plus cards against humanity cards uh, I recently played uh, with a few friends at this point like two weeks ago I think and it was probably the most fun I had in probably last year or so in my life uh, it's a really fun game to play I know I've, I've played you know, Magic the Gathering with a bunch of friends, and that's fun, but it's really competitive. And Cards Against Humanity is just just fun. Just plain fun. It gets competitive, but it's fun in a fun way. So I'm going to open up some of these. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the green box. That's the big one right here. That's the green box. Not sure if I'm going to get to that one today. Uh, but I also got Cornholes, which is, I think, the food pack. Uh, Food-related cards. Uh, the sixth expansion. I got sci-fi pack, geek pack, the World Wide Web pack. You can see the image that, that's not loaded. It's broke. Um, science pack, fantasy pack, Jew pack. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, design pack, and 2014 holiday pack. I don't think I have this one yet. I could be wrong. But I'm going to open these, except maybe the green box. That might mean be another video that I do later. But first, I'm going to open up something more recent, uh, the Vote for Trump or Vote for Hillary packs that I got. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going to be in here. Um, before you watch this video, before I continue, uh, remember, this is a very adult card game. And there's some stuff on here that might not be, you know, well. Anyway, to, to give you an idea what uh, what Cards Against Humanity is. Uh, every turn somebody reads a black card, which is usually a question or a fill in the blank type of card, and everybody else answers with a white card, which is usually an answer card. Uh, and the worst person wins, which is usually the funniest person. So these are some of the answer cards, like the Bernie Sanders Revolution, uh, letting Bernie Sanders rest his world weary head on your lap, uh, slapping Ted Cruz over and over. That's I'm all right with that. Uh, a beautiful, ever expanding circle of in what inclusivity. That will never include Republicans. All right. Uh, Black Lives Mattering. It's, uh, it gets racist. You know, Donald Trump holding his nose while he eats pussy. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to see. The fact that Hillary Clinton is a woman. Or kitten. Meow. Kicking the middle class in the balls with the regressive tax code. Pretty sure I'm low class. I feel like I'm low class. Uh, keeping the government out of my vagina. That's one of the top things I, I try to do. This sy systemic dis disenfranchisement of black voters. Jesus Christ. Uh, increasing economic inequality and political polarization. Eating the president's pussy. Okay, just going to go right through that. Uh, here's the question cards. When you go to the polls on Tuesday, remember a vote for me is a vote for... The fact that Hillary Hillary Kitten is a woman or Clinton, uh, uh, as repar uh, fuck reparations for slavery, all African Americans will receive blank. That's not going to be good with all the other cards I own. Senator, I trust you enjoyed blank last night. Now can I count on your vote? <laughs> all right. Well, that was the Hil Hillary Clinton or Hillary Kitten pack. Where the that's over there now. So this is the Donald Trump pack. We all know he, he ended up winning. You know, it's, I'm not saying it's America's fault, but it's kind of America's fault in that regard. But anyway, uh, actually voting for Donald Trump to be president of the actual United States. Uh, a liberal bias. Hating Hillary Clinton, growing up and becoming Republican, 
courageously going ahead with that racist comment. This one? That's not racist. Uh, dispelling with... The spelling with his the puck. The spelling with this fiction that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, also, Jeb. Uh, also, this is a really good drinking game. I'm gonna go through. I'm not gonna read all of these actually. You can pause and read them if you want. Uh, this is a really good uh, drinking game where everybody except whomever does the funniest combination has to drink. Uh, Trump's great. Trump's got blank. I love that. According to Arizona standard ground law, you're allowed to shoot someone if they're... It's 3 a.m. The red phone rings. It's blank. What do you want? Who do you want answering? Oh. Well, not Donald Trump. I know that much. So, next up, I'm going to do... You know, I have a friend who's who's Jewish. You know, by trade. I guess that's a trade. It's a good trade to have, I suppose. So, I'm going to do the Jew pack. Now, again... Before we get into this, remember, this is just for funsies. It's not my personal opinion on anything. Some of it is, especially some of the bad things that they said about Donald Trump just now. But that's just, you know, whatever. Uh, bags of money, that's a Jew thing, isn't it? Uh, chopping off a bit of the penis. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to describe a circumcision, I guess. Uh, so, you know, there's definitely a lot. Fuck, I knew it was going to get to this. It was five cards in, four cards in, Holocaust Nazis, Holocaust Nazis. Uh, so there's that. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, excellent. Uh, so there's a bunch of really mean cards <laughs> demolishing that ass like a Palestinian village. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, a bit of schmutz right there. Fuck. Uh, there's a lot of really bad things. And really funny things, I'm not going to lie, in all of these cards. Oh, God damn it. Well, that's not too bad. That's, you know, because, you know, they like kosher things, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I said I had a Jew friend. I don't know about Jews. Uh, Woody Allen. God damn it. Uh, can't, can't you see? The Jews are behind everything. The, the banks, the media, even. Uh, so what's so important right now that you can't call your mother? Coming to Broadway next season, blank on the roof. And there's a bunch of other cards. Remember, you can, you know, pause. Pause as I'm going through them real fast if you want to read them, a little bit more of them. I'm just trying to make this video not last eight years. This I was, this I was concerned about. This, uh, this one. Because I got a food pack and none of them said, like, you know, the geek pack. The geek pack says geek pack. The sci-fi pack says sci-fi pack. You know, really simple things to so dumb it down for me. You know, just to make everything easier and everything. So this one, however, did not say food pack. But there's there's corn, taking a poop into what's, you know, cream corn. It says car pack inside, so that's a good thing. There's things you can do with corn. There's a maze and some word searches. Nutrition facts. Uh, serving size, one box. You got to eat the whole thing. Uh, 85 calories, uh, 17 grams of sugar. So if you're watching, if you have a bad case of the sugars, as the southern people, I'm assuming, like to say, don't eat this, I guess. I don't, I don't know if 17 grams is a lot. Whatever. So we're going to open this up. There's going to be, there actually is food. There's fucking food in here. There's fucking corn in my pack of cards against humanity. All right, I'm going to eat that later, I guess. Or I'm just going to not eat it at all, ever. Uh, but, you know, swishing the wine around and sniffing it like a big fancy man. Hmm, I am a big fancy man, thanks for noticing. Uh, so, god damn it, I knew it. They're going to compare uh, Father's Forbidden Chocolates. I don't even want to know what that is. Uh, dude, that's, that's my life. Oreos for dinner. Uh, kale farts. I, I'm pretty sure I've eaten. I've I've had a smoothie, and as we all know, white women love smoothies. But uh, I've I've with kale in it, I should say. But I don't remember if farts meant anything at that point. Uh, again, you can pause these cheesecake factory. Pause these if you want to read a little bit more about them. Uh, just, god damn it, fuck you, Cards Against Humanity. 
and I'm never going to eat a Twinkie. And I don't really eat Twinkies. I don't like the combination of sugar and bread or hot dogs and vaginas. Two things I don't like combinations of. Anyway, I don't like sugar and bread. Like, I don't like donuts. I don't like uh, danishes, really. I don't like Pop-Tarts. I know, I'm, I'm going to get flack for that. I'm going to get that flack. Aflac. Uh, but I just don't like uh, sugar and what? Damn it. Uh, or <laughs> bread combinations. Or things that are like bread, like cupcakes or actual cake. Uh, I don't like any of those there. That's not delivery. It's uh, all that chocolate on my penis or whatever that card was that it said. Oh, babe, your burps smell like... Uh, so there's that. That's my food portion of the day, I guess. Uh, what do I... Uh, fucking corn, seriously. Why would you give me corn? I don't want it. Uh, I'm going to open this because I'm not sure if I actually have this one or not. I know I have most of, if not all of, the holiday packs. But I think this is one, for some reason, I didn't buy. 2014, so it's the newest of them. Maybe I didn't buy any since 2014. And that's why I spent like $100 at once on all these things. That was a really hard pack to get out of. So I guess if some of these seem familiar to me... Uh, that doesn't seem that might seem what what does this what does 200 years of slavery have to do with what i don't think any of this has to do with christmas this group of new thing called okay blockbuster late fees up the wazoo you're right uh so this really doesn't seem anything even remotely related to christmas that's a little Christmas expansion sh set symbol down there. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, I guess what remains of my penis is a good one. Uh, robots. Um, so, I was going to say something about... Dude, that doesn't sound good at all. The Great Lizard Uprising. I don't want to be there. I was going to say something about Christmas and how... Uh, my best Christmas ever was when I got, like, 20, uh, t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. But none of this seems even slightly Christmassy. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Anything with kids and mom and dad in it is just bad. Uh, it's really bad. Some of these short questions, like, why am I so tired? That could be really bad. That could... That could be terrible in this game, but fun for everyone. So that was the holiday pack. Like all the other holiday packs had like Santa theme theme things. Like there's one that says, you know, the Grinch's cum stained pelt. You know, fun things like that that everybody can enjoy. Uh, but apparently, not 2014 geek pack. I thought this was Minecraft, but it, uh, that's that's a 20 sided die. I'm assuming this is. RPG related things, nothing to do with Minecraft. Maybe it's like super geeky. Okay, again with these cards, with this pack and this card packs, packs cards, cards. Yeah, dude, I had so much practice. I'm gonna upload my 300th video of pack crackers, the Cockring of Al Al, Al Uh So I've never played officially. Oh, that's sad. Uh, I know how you feel, card. I never really played any D and D. I've always wanted to, uh, but I haven't. Uh, but I play a lot of Magic the Gathering, which is pretty... That's that's a Star Trek reference. I know that much. This isn't all D&D, &D, but they're Jesus Crip of every Magic... What? Uh, the collective whale of every Magic player suddenly realizing that they spent $100 on pieces of cardboard, but I did that for you too, Cards Against Humanity. You think you're so fucking special? I mean, you are. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but... Uh, I was just going to say, I play a lot of Magic the Gathering. Uh, homemade, cum stained Star Trek uniform. Excellent. I haven't watched very much Star Trek. I started to, and then I'm like, ah, nope, not, not gonna, as it turns out. Don't really get into anime too much, either. Uh, I could do without it. But anime, whatever, that's cool. Uh, Endless Ninjas, that's, that's not fun. That's not fun. Except for the ninjas, I guess. 
uh, separate drinking fountains for a oh, separate drinking fount fountains for dark I get it okay it's a racist joke I get it now um, oh god damn it press down down left right B to unleash blank what made Spock cry blank is way better in blank mode heavy breeding oh, he not breeding he not heavy breeding although I'm for it but heavy breathing Luke I am eating a pizza that's lying in the street to gain health that's my best Darth Vader I got right now. Uh, so that was the Geek Pack. I think it was. I hope it was. Because that's what I'm saying it was. So let's get a bit of the Sci-Fi Pack. It's kind of still geeky, but this is more along the lines of science fiction. Shmobviously. Shmobviously. If I can just open the damn thing up for once. Just be easy, you goddamn bet. Okay. Okay. Well, there's that. It's got... I'm just going to put that over here. Oh, masturbating Yoza's... Okay. Yoza's. Yoda's leathery... Was it turtle penis? I guess it's kind of turtle. Turtle-y. Three boobs. Time for it. Why not get that extra one in there? Hazmat suit full of farts. That's terrible. Uh, did what Dar Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra? I'm sure somebody's nerdy enough to understand that, but I'm not cheerful. Blowjob robots, all right. Uh, so there's that. Um, uh, I love Lost. I do enjoy Lost. The ending, I can understand why people hate the ending. If you really watch the show, you'll understand in the very first episode of Lost that they actually give away the ending. In like the first 10 20 minutes but still really great show Vulcan sex madness you know there's a lot you know there's a lot of questions that weren't answered because <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I already opened up the Jew pack but I'm feeling a little verklempt um, actually let me get a drink guys <clears throat> okay I'm better what was I saying Oh yeah, every every episode of beep beep boop beep boop every episode of Lost ended up, you know, asking three questions but only answering one. So at the final season of Lost, the writers are like, uh, it looks looks like we're uh, looks like we're gonna have to put a lot of answers in these next few episodes. And then they didn't answer them, and they just kind of gave up and be like, yeah. Uh, spoiler alert: everybody's dead already. I said spoiler alert. If you if you didn't if you didn't turn the the thing off or mute yourself, mute myself, mute ourselves. You know, that's your fault, not mine. Uh, internet. Uh, this, if you don't know, is what uh, not like early two thousands internet showed you if the like image couldn't load. And I guess probably still today, I suppose. Uh, but there's that. I remember when the internet first came out. That was weird compared to today. Like, they had HTML, there was no Flash, it was weird. Um, I, I don't know what that has anything to do with the internet, but okay. Well, that has a lot to do with the internet, I suppose. Um, taking a shit while running at full speed. Cat massage, there's going to be a bunch of memes, I bet. Uh, yep. Uh, ooh. Uh, ah, that's awkward, isn't it? Sorry, Mom, you're not my type. YouTube comments. Oh, speaking of YouTube comments... You know what I like? YouTube comments. So go ahead and put them down, you know, in the in the comment section of YouTube. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, you know, go to my YouTube page, J Little Sucks. Uh, at, just search that at YouTube, and you know, don't look at my browser history. That's for sure. Uh, but you know, leave me a comment or two or three or five, and God damn it, uh, and I'll appreciate all of it. Yes. Googling. Uh, talk, what? A night of Taco Bell and anal sex. No. Absolutely not. Uh, somebody once told me that the entire world as a whole was going to roll me. But it sucks for them because I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Um, something about nude beach. Internet porn analysis paralysis. Uh, destroying Dick Cheney's last work run. Okay. 
I'm just gonna stay in tonight, you know, Netflix and blank. These are trigger warning, blank. Such blank, very blank, wow. Uh, what did I nickname my genitals? Excellent. That's gonna have all of the good answers, no doubt. The black half of Barack Obama, obviously. Uh, boop, 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 uh, last card. Okay, that was the internet pack. Now we're going to do a bridge the science pack. This, I mean, obviously this is a nerdy game, so obviously there's going to be a lot of nerdy expansions. But, if I can, there we go. God damn it. These packs are much harder to open than Magic the Gathering packs, I found out. Uh, super massive black hole. Uh, some other quantum theory stuff. Quantum theory. Ele what? Electro ejaculating a uh, capuchin monkey. That I don't know if that's fun or not, but it might be uh, infinity and beyond and or beyond. Uh, Uranus. Uh, fun fact: There's a town in Massachusetts uh, called Myanus. M I A N U S. I think it's spelled. Um, and if you ever go there, go to, there's like a little science center there. Uh, you can go in there and get on, or use the, te get on the telescope, log into the telescope. Uh, get on the telescope and you can actually see Uranus from my anus. It's weird, but it's, it's possible. Photosynthesis. Uh, blah, blah, blah. failing the, what? The failing the Turing test. I'm not sure what that is, Turing. That's too sciencey for me. Whatever date not borrow watching us may oh I don't know about that. Three point seven billion years of evolution. Shoot yeah. Sun engulfing the earth. I don't I don't like where this is headed. Uh there's some more I'll just drop everything, why don't I? Uh some answer or er, some question cards. Uh what really killed the dinosaurs? The white half of Barack Obama. Uh, today on Mythbusters, we find out how long blank can withstand blank. The white half of Barack Obama can withstand the black half of Barack Obama. That's kind of my, my go-to answer for everything, because those two cards were probably some of the best cards ever. I'm going to have a sip. Hold on, guys. Look, look at the fantasy pack while I have myself a beverage. <clears throat> so, fantasy pack... Uh, hopefully, there's going to be uh, two to three metric dick tons of cards, or fuck, Game of Thrones. Fucking, no shit, there's going to be cards. Uh, Game of Thrones references in here. Uh, the card, okay, uh, three L's at a time. I already like where that's going. Uh, but this is probably more about the all seen out of Sauron. I figured, I had to, sorry, I had to move my mouse because... My laptop went black, but Hodor, Hodor, hold the door, hold door. What if Hodor played uh, Cards Against Humanity? Hodor, 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 Hodor. Um, a freaky pan-dimensional sex with a demigod. Don't know why I'm not why I'm recording this and not doing that right now. Kneeling a wizard, uh, a, kneeing a wizard, not kneeling. Uh, shitting. Fuck. Shitting in a wizard spell book and jizzing in his hat. Hmm. Well, he's not going to have a good day, is he? Uh, CGI dragons. That's probably a Game of Thrones reference. Uh, reading the, the Hobbit under the covers while mom and dad scream at each other downstairs. That got real, 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 real fast. Itachi Ma Oh, that's not a magic. I mean, for some people, I guess. But it's not what you... Not, it's not the fantasy kind of magic wand, is what I'm, or is it? I don't know. Uh, how hot Orlando Bloom was in Lord of the Rings. How about it? Uh, you can also find his dick on the internet, as it turns out. Didn't need to see that when I'm browsing fucking Reddit. Uh, your father was a powerful wizard, Harry. Before he died, he left you something very precious. A big black dick. Uh, so there's, well, that's a lot of words. Not going to read all that. Pause it if you need to. So that was the fantasy pack. All right. The design pack. Now this one is, I'm not sure if there's going to be pictures on it, like that one weird picture that I accidentally saw that I didn't want to see. Uh, but, I mean, there's already color involved, so heading that way, I suppose. 
What? Oh, I guess this is... Never mind, this is just the... Uh... Oh yeah. Oh, god damn it. Don't look at that. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to pre... I don't... I'm all about nudity in real life, but... Okay, here's one I can show so far. There's that one. There's that one. Motherfucker. You can almost read motherfucker down there. Uh, some more of that. Can't show that one. Uh, that's okay, I guess. Can't show that one. Uh, these are just letters and numbers. I can show that one. Uh, 18 and 1 hemp peppermint piss. Um, that one I can't. Uh, technically. Technically, I don't see any nudity, but I'm not going to show it. Uh, okay. I guess that one's all right to show. Whatever that is. Uh, somebody's on Twitter. Or tweeter. Twit, tweety, tweet, tweety, tweet. Uh, this one, if you can't see it, I guess it looks, actually it looks better on the camera than it does in real life. It says piss and it's yellow. Uh, Death Star. Can't show that one. Um, guess that one's okay. Some more motherfuckers, some more shit. Mike Hunt. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Uh, some piss. I leave that one there. Uh, some more piss. I'm assuming that's a two of poops, poop parts. More piss, more motherfucker. I uh, can't show that one. And I guess this is just. Oh, I get it now. Okay, it's, it's based on George Carlin's 1972 monologue, Seven Words You Can Never Say on Television. So I guess those seven words are, in fact, motherfucker, piss, shit, cocksucker, Mike Hunt, I guess. And that was that seven? Just, just fuck in general? Yeah, I guess that's that's about it, isn't it? In it. Oh yeah, cunt. Did I say cunt? Did we get cunt already? There's one. And I guess tits. I guess that's what that is. But that was that was a fun one, wasn't it? All right. There's a lot I can't show. So none of which none of which had any any of the words that we didn't already cover. So that's good. Next up, the sixth expansion. Now this one, <clears throat> excuse me again. If I can open this motherfucker, where's my chainsaw? I'm gonna need it. There we go. Uh, but anyway, uh, the sixth expansion. Uh, when when Cards Against Humanity first came out, they had first expansion, second expansion, fourth, fifth, fifth, and blah 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 blah. And then they started putting by threes. They're putting three of these expansions in the in the boxes. There's like a red box and a yellow box. Uh, at expansions one through five, did not have expansion number six. Now, because of that, late uh, late in life, not not that late in life, a couple years later, I wanted uh, just recently actually a buttload of candy. Um, yeah, and uh, what was I saying? Fuck! I was started reading the cards. A sudden penis loss. That's terrible. What? Uh, and uh, with that. Well, I keep forgetting what I'm saying. Anyway, I wanted to get the six expansion because I had one through five. But the only time that I could get the six expansion was to get the red box or blue box or whatever it was. Uh, but I, to get the blue box, I also had to get the the third and four or the fourth and the fifth expansions, which I already had, and I don't need two of all them cards. Uh, Unsheathing my massive force cock. I'll just leave that there. Uh, also, uh, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm super sad now because. I can't get that extra. I can't get that extra car, cards I wanted without buying all these other cards I don't want. I, I want, but I already have. I should say. So I, I cried a bit. I was unhappy for a while. Uh, that's the story of my life right there. Um, and so I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do? I want to buy all the expansions. Blah, 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 blah. And then I look, and there's this little button you click on, and it has all the old expansions while supplies last. And guess what? Supplies lasted for the sixth expansion, which is exactly what I'm looking 
at right now there's a lot of fucking cards in here holy shit i'm gonna put those aside self microwaving burrito shit yeah like i said if you want to read them pause them i'm not gonna go through all these obviously that would take eight bazillion years and i don't got that many years left in me setting my balls on fire and cartwheeling to ohio neat the dentist uh, so that's well and good. Let me let me have a sip here real quick. Uh, while I do that, uh, enjoy this card. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that card. That was rude. Hey, you did not deserve that. You're a nice person. Uh, but I'm just going to go through some of these. Ejaculating lady inside another man's war. Okay. I don't know why I didn't say wife, and but I had no problem saying ejaculating. Uh, Morpheus peeing into a girl's butt to make a baby. What's what's funny about that? Isn't that how it works? I'm pretty sure I recovered that in sex ed class. I'm pretty. No longer finding any cards against humanity. Funny. Uh, that is one kind of one of the downsides to the game. If you play a lot, and especially if you don't have any of the expansions. Like, after, like, 10, 10 games, it's not fun. Uh, the, the best way to do it, and uh, I mentioned this earlier. I played with a couple friends. Uh, it was probably, like, was super fun, super fun times. Can't wait to do it again, hopefully soon. But, um, what was I saying? Uh, but the best way to have more fun uh, with Cards Against Humanity, first, make it a drinking game, obviously. Uh, secondly, uh, make sure that... You invite people who haven't played it or haven't played it in a long time. These are blank cards. You can write your answers. That's also a good way to make it fun. Um, you know, invite some people that you know haven't had a chance to play it or haven't played it much. Uh, then it's really fun. I will say that much. Uh, it's more fun when you have people who are having fun, even if you're not having as much. I had fun. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. If it was me and the same group of, say, five people playing Cards Against Humanity every weekend, every single weekend, then it would get kind of boring and unfunny. But anyway, I got the green box. Um, so this is a big-ass expansion. I know there's a there's a subreddit uh, on Reddit. I guess it makes sense that it would be on Reddit. Um, well, this one stinks. What is in this box? It just smells like dead, a uh, dead something, something that's dead. I don't know what that. Uh, where's that smell coming from? It just showed up. It literally just showed up as I opened up that box. Oh, uh, guys, don't get the don't get the green box. The green box stinks. Contents. What was I? Oh, this is bad. I don't like it. it. Smells like. Oh, hi, mom. Getting high with mom. I'm assuming there's some kind of like a. Maybe a scratch and sniff card in here. That's that's a really goddamn bad smell. It smells like a dead goddamn animal. Whew. Anyway, that's just. I'm really hoping there's not like a dead animal scratch and sniff card. Also, meatloaf the man, meatloaf the food, meatloaf. No, oh, my huge penis and substantial torture. Eh, oh, okay. Um, I'm really hoping there's no scratch and sniff cards, even though that would be a great addition. But from what I'm smelling right now, I really don't think that would be good. Now, normally I'd think that it was something... Just wait! Uh, I would think it was something that, you know, I have in my apartment here that I'm recording this in. And, you know, maybe like a week ago it would have been because I put off... I put off, oh Jesus, uh, put off cleaning my apartment after making Jesus Christ burgers, which I should also do a video for sometime. Um, but, uh, ew. Uh, but I did it right away and it started to smell like rotten. Actually, when I made it, uh, farting a huge shit out of my, oh God damn it. Um, uh, no gorillas. Come on, Harembe. Um, and what the fuck was that? I get distracted so easily when I'm doing this. Like I said, I'm not going to read all of these cards or most of them. There's going to be a few that I read. Uh, but if you want to read them, you want to see what this says, 
you know, go ahead and pause it after I knock my camera around for a little bit. Let me do a bit of that. There we go. But anyway, I thought it was something in my room just a second ago, but I cleaned that stuff, and this is not a smell that has been in my room yet, or in my, uh, god damn it. The smell is getting worse. Am I getting closer to the scratch and sniff card, do you think? That smell... I don't know if they just rub the dead animal on these cards or not. This is bad. Cards against humanity. What did you do? What did you do? Oh, God. Uh, but, you know, uh, I just can't get over the smell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smell the green box again. I don't. The box itself doesn't smell bad. So much. The box itself smells okay, but I just opened something. Was it? Is it? Is it the corn? It's probably the fucking corn. No, it's not the corn. Smell. Actually, it's definitely not the corn. And it's definitely not me. I'm smelling. I'm smelling all of me, and I, I don't smell it. And oh, dude, why you gotta bring that up, dude? I had this awesome dog named Minerva. Or mini for short. This is the smartest dog, even though my dad always called it stupid. But whatever, you don't know dad. It's a sweet dog. I must have had that dog for like 20 fucking years. Not not really, it was like it was like 6 or 7. But it was the coolest dog in the world. Uh, it always, always loved to huge ball, big balls full of jizz. Has nothing to do with my dog, by the way. Um, but it, what was this? Uh, my dog... It was cool as shit. It got old as fuck. Cool as shit, old as fuck. Uh, it died while I was at work. Well, I was doing telemarketing calls. This dog I had for at least 15 or 16 years that I rescued from the pound fucking died. And that was, that was sad. And now I just brought the video down. But you know what brings the video up? Sucking each other's penises for hours on end. Let me tell you a story about that. What? I don't have any stories like that. What are you... What? 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 Are you, what, what, what? what are you talking about? Having sex with the man and then eating... This. Okay, mantis. Praying of sorts. Did anybody watch Species, the first one? The, I mean, it was pretty much the same story for all the others. An X-Man whose power is that he has sex with dogs and... God, nope. Nope. Not reading the rest of that one. That's not a good goddamn power at all. Period. I'm, I wouldn't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, commentate on something I would know nothing about. To be honest with you. I think. I think the smell's gone now. I don't, maybe there was like a dead ass animal that died. Died as that's dead as fuck right now outside my apartment. That fucking. That was stinky. I don't know. Rock hard. Tits and a huge vagina? Uh, porn stars? Is that what you're talking about? That was something that was really... Oh, fucking shit. That was something really bad. And it happened exactly when I opened the green box. Now, so, in other words, I've been recording this for, like, almost 40 minutes now. And... It could have been something that's been in my apartment this entire time. Uh, so there's that. But it just showed up at the exact moment I opened up the green box. Um, if you if you've opened up the green box and you smelled something funky like a dead ass animal, you know, tell me in the comments. Now I'd, I'd appreciate it. I think I don't know. I might not appreciate it because if you guys didn't have that problem and there's something wrong with my goddamn cars, like they're made out of fucking dead animal parts, then maybe horchata. Uh, then maybe, you know, it's it's my fault. It's, why is karma being such an asshole to me is what I'm asking. Chris Hemsworth, karma's not an asshole because I just remembered. If there's one guy that I would, I would you know, bat for the other team, I would pitch and catch for fucking Chris Hemsworth. That's a lie. Or is it? It's probably not a lie. If I had to do it, if I had to do it, I'm not going to do it because, you know... Because boobs and vaginas are pretty awesome, is what I'm trying to say. But what I'm saying is, if I had, if gun to my head, you know, you, you get your choice of any celebrity, 
It's either going to be Chris Hemsworth or, you know, like, uh, I want to say young Brad Pitt. Because he was too, like, boyish good looks. He wasn't a badass kind of looking thing. I don't want to say current Brad Pitt because he's kind of old. Sorry, buddy. Uh, maybe, like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't mind Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Brad Pitt, and I definitely don't mind Mr. and Mrs. Smith or any other movie, Angelina Jolie. You know, gun to my head, you know, a thousand guns to my head, no guns to my head, come think of it, Angelina Jolie, yeah. Uh, she, uh, big, beautiful mouth packed to the brim with sparkling white teeth. I don't know why I picked this one to read. It's not even that funny. I could have, you know, said something like a finger up the butt. And that would have been more funny. You're being laid like all the time. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I don't know what that's like. What is it like? Somebody tell me. Um, happy daddies with happy scent. What? I don't want to know what any of that is. I need a drink. I need, I need a beverage. Enjoy this. Uh, so I'm going to speed round some of these. Remember, you can always pause to read. But, you know, I already told you who would I bang. If I had, if I absolute gun to my head had to bang a dude. And I get my choice. You know, I want to, I want to be able to choose. But, you know, I wouldn't even really, I wouldn't even get, you know, so upset. Somebody put a gun to my head and said, "Hey, you gotta, you gotta bang, you know, a famous, uh, famous lady." I'd pick, I'd pick Christina Scabia from Lacuna Coil. Uh, you might not know who she is. If you listen to Lacuna Coil, you probably heard her. I guess you wouldn't see her if you just listened. Uh, but look that stuff up on uh, on YouTube. Look up any Lacuna Coil music video. Uh, she'll be the chick in the band because she's the only chick in the band. Or Olivia Munn. Still enjoy me some Olivia, Olivia Munn. Sorry, I had to burp and move my mouse. And I didn't know which one to do first. Working so hard to have muscles and then having them. Okay, that makes sense. That's, you know, that's the whole game plan, though. You work hard to have the muscles and then you have them. And then you're done. Mission accomplished. Uh, huge muscles and a rhinoceros cock. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what a rhinoceros cock looks like. I'm assuming very cock-like. Chipotle. Is that what smelled so bad? No, it's not the Chipotle. It's the cards. It's definitely... I smelled the cards. It's definitely the fucking cards. The cards smell like dead fucking animals. Why? Why do my cards smell like dead animals? That's what I want to know, first of all. And these are the, of course, the question cards in the green box expansion. Uh, hashtag amazing, hashtag my life, hashtag Chipotle. What's the gayest? I'll tell you what the gayest is. Late stage dementia. Stage? What? I just picked a random card out of the, the stack I have here. I got over 700 cards. I mentioned that earlier. Seven muffin hundred cards that I got. Yep, and I'm almost done. This is my last bunch of cards. Like I said, just you know, pause if you want to read any of them. LSD plus blank equals a really bad time. You're going to have a bad time. Uh, so there's that. Um, I saved this one for last because this is the longest, and if you didn't watch it this far in the video, I don't blame you one bit. I try to say things that are funny. Who's, what sucks balls? Everything. Black Hat Barack Obama. Uh, okay. Oh, no, Siri. How do I fix? Gotta pick a random card. Showing all the boys my pussy. Uh, it's like I said, very adult game. I warned you. I warned you in the beginning. You didn't listen. You saw that one card with the lady taking a leak on the fucking street. Hopefully, it doesn't zoom in. Google, Google Calendar sh Alert, or I almost said shirt, Google Calendar Alert, blank, in 10 minutes. Google Calendar Alert, restoring Germany to its former glory, in 10 minutes. Google Calendar Alert, getting this party started in 10 minutes.
and the party has started. I got corn. That's when I knew the party really started. Corn marshmallows. I'm assuming these are my, I haven't I haven't tried one. I'm not going to. I don't know what to do with these things. I could throw them. A, I mean, I'm assuming they're marshmallows. They're squishy like marshmallows. Definitely not corn. I can tell. There's no juice whatsoever. But anyway, guys, that was my 700 and odd some odd fucking Cards Against Humanity fucking loot that I just got. Uh, if you watched it, first of all, I'm sorry. Second of all, uh, super sorry. Third of all, you don't you don't got corn. I do. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna do some more unboxing sometime whenever I have something to unbox. As of now, I'm fucking done. That was too many goddamn cards. Anyway, guys, later.